you and the point of view Bernard I'm, I'm waiting for my mask <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I won't talk until I get my mask okay no problem go for it which one shocked you the most the results of that came from? <laughs> well I wouldn't say um, shocked me as much but there are a few results that you know I, I look at and ask myself wow and I just said to myself wow so I look at for instance Bernard Alabanda Offenso South. Offenso. Yeah. Uh, a very reputable member of parliament. He's one of the ones the MPP puts out, one of their poster boys. He's the big boy on their legal and constitutional affairs uh, committee in parliament. Things hadn't gone too well for him in the constituency in the build up to this, but I did not expect the kind of hammering that he got. Mm. Um, the Ahmed Arthur loss as well is one that uh, has surprised me a so, bit so offensive ben abdallah is a place where we saw a live ram yes being a sacrificed. crate of eggs and a bottle of schnapp yes being poured in the river i think that's river often yes uh, to curse him and all party officers who were supposed to come to the concert to campaign for him yeah and i remember general secretary of the party at a press conference actually ordered the suspension of those party supporters so that notwithstanding uh, he's still lost. Yes. Shocking for you. Yeah, and Un then, unexpected. Yes, and then Ahmed Arthur, Ahmed Arthur, I am shocked at. Um, no disrespect to the candidate who won, but uh, we had expected Ahmed Arthur to be a bit stronger uh, on the ground than what we saw. Um, Do we know much about the lady who is replacing him? Well, it's. Let's just say that she's done a good job. You know, um, Ahmed Atta is being replaced by Dakwan Dakwa Newman. Mm -hmm. Okay, and she's done her homework well. Of the candidates that were contesting, um, I felt she would have come in third. Oh, you, then you can't be serious. <laughs> you, you, so, you, so don't, you, don't, you don't know the so constituency. So you're expecting... Uh, I, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was expecting her to come you in. Know, you have the license to speak now. Oh, you can't be serious. <laughs> no, okay. I'm very serious. Okay, so that, you're giving that, me two. But, um, Offensive South yes. and um, uh, um, I believe <laughs> South, uh, Central was the name. Uh, okay, okay, South, South yes. has surprised you. Yes. Bernard, which one shocked oh, you? Uh, for me, I see when we when I did the prediction on Wednesday, I issued a lot of caveats because three days in the primary is very fluid. For example, Michael Quay, I did not expect to win, but I am so impressed with his showing because a week ago, when you speak to people on the ground, it looked like Adrasa was in a good league. Mm -hmm. But he kept working and working and working and working. In fact, if they had probably given three more days, he probably would have won. That is true. Okay. That so true. you can't say you are shocked because you don't know. Delegates, are, they have their own reasons. I, so I, I'm, I'm not saying, and I'm, I'm not surprised Dakwa won, even though I predicted Ahmed Arthur was going to win. Because I said that it was a straight tie between Ahmed Arthur and Dakwa. Mm -hmm. My calculation was that uh, Fredria was going to disturb Dakwa. But he didn't but get he didn't do much. He didn't so Dakwa won. And she's... Mm -hmm. In her own right, she's solid, yeah. just like Sheila Bartels. Some mm -hmm. because their parents are in the party, a lot of people are framing them as daughters of big people. But mm -hmm. if you look at their CV, you talk to them, they know what they are yeah, about. To with. I, for me, the one that I got completely wrong was in Coco. I got Coco totally wrong because in Coco, based on all that we had calculated, we thought that the five of them would split their votes so that their four would go through. We underestimated that the original minister, yes, we underestimated how unpopular that four was. Shaba shocked me. Shaba got 156 yeah, votes. Really well. mm -hmm. Now, Frim Paul we knew was popular, but the point was that a lot of people said they didn't think he had resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so it's actually very interesting that from Coco, of all places, it didn't look like it was just a question of resources because don't forget, you had a middle bed deputy CEO there, the lawyer, mm -hmm. Madam um, Joyce something, I forget the full name. Joyce Pukubuatin. A lawyer, then you have the minister, then you have a two former MPs, then Come you have. On. So actually, you can say the underdog, the one with no position, no track record, is the one it's who won. So I would say, I will lift my hands up and say, in Coco, I was off. Katie Hammond, we, we initially said we thought Binfo was going to win because this is the first time Katie Hammond has ever faced competition. Yeah. But it's not a very smart thing to do to say, vote better against an incumbent who's not been contested before. So in this morning, we said that even with Binfo's 176, that was still very good. But it also shows that Katie is a politician. 
and for 20 years he has something to show that he can really he, he, he knows the people he, he feels knows corner, the place but he's yes. still so for example you see what happened in the uh, interaction with the the woman who was uh, 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 easy person is he, he he's never been in such a position before because most of the time yeah. he's just unopposed yeah. um yeah so that's what you will say so we, you can't say uh, the other point i've noticed is that there's a, a lot of close races in accra a lot of the incumbents who maintain their seat in accra and we can run through the list so adra safo's place uh, that's what i'm just returning from don kwabenya eight votes um that is that is very huge for 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 the 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 man okay. who lost yeah. Michael Quaid Jr. Again, like you said, if he were given a few more days, he may yeah. he may actually have said that. If, if you actually look at Greater Accra, I can run through this for you. Greater Accra, you either have a new uh, person mm -hmm. or the old person won by a small margin. Okay, so we can go through this. Uh, Ablekuma North. There's a new person. Yes. Sheila Battle, some defeated Nanekia who's a free, who's a first time MP. Sheila had 518, Nanekia had 315. So it's a big swing in favor of a new person. Sizably. Yabu Abin 422, Imano Kwesi Mate 217. Over 200 votes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you go to Botian Ongleshi, Sylvester Tete swung and beat an incumbent. 317, Habib uh, Saad had 178. So that's a swing for a new person. Again, that's that's an interesting constituency too. And and even Silver Sateta himself is a new person to the whole constituency. Having moved from Ningo Pram Pram to that side. But don't forget he's the CEO of the National Authority. Yes. The other trend you notice is that a lot of President Akufuado appointees who are not ministers okay. are winning parliamentary seats. And I'll come to that shortly. So CEOs yes. and so then to Domi Kwabinya, you have Ajas Afu, but she's won by only eight votes. Krowa, Deputy Minister Elizabeth Afu Lekwe. 362, Imanolai Odai, 359. Three votes. So mm -hmm. when the incumbent wins in Accra, it's very small. Mm -hmm. When the new person wins, it's a swing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lejokuku, Madina, no, nothing new there. Okaikwe South, Ahmed Arthur. Ahmed Arthur is one of the few uh, old people who lost, but the margin wasn't that high. Yeah. Okay, but to, to be fair, Dakwa 440, Ahmed Arthur 327, is a big swing. Is because Ahmed Arthur has been there for at least two terms. Yeah. Okay, then you have Okainkwe North again. Mm -hmm. Hussein Issa's margin wasn't that high. Ken Crunchy did very well, 285, Hussein Issa 305. Okay, then Tama Central, a swing. Somebody is Hansenote 187, Kofi Brako, the incumbent 158. So when there's a new, it's almost an indefatigable. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are predicting. In fact, you interviewed Ashite, mm -hmm. and he sounded very confident. Yep. That was Loba maintained the seat. Mm -hmm. Carlos won by 70%. So I think the big winners for Accra, who are incumbents, Tema West, Carlos, and then Adenta, the rest have been very small margins for the incumbents, and okay. the rest are all new. Okay. And, and then, then I also look at the Aquitia seat. So I wanted us to just quickly remind people of the okay. persons who lost. I think that that is critical. If you're just for great Accra. Yeah, I mean, nationally, some of the big names okay. are lost. I thought we were going to do a regional basis so that people can follow okay, it. Okay, then better. we can start from Ashanti region. Good. Uh, so that we look at the main, if you're just tuning in, yes. the persons okay. who lost so, in the MPP primaries. Um, persons who will not represent the party at least in 2020 you may choose to go independent so we cannot so, say they will return to yes. parliament so for ashanti um colonel so someone mentioned north significant name there benabda labanda office so south significant name there kwabno uswa duemi uh from hso significant name there daniel ochem abuaje obviously uh bantama. bantama also another significant name that's one would point i, I don't know why you are calling them significant you see there's a difference between media exposure so for example last election Mm -hmm. When um, the 23 year or 21 year old yes. uh, Francesca yes. beat Kofi Frimpong mm -hmm. of Cabra East, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was a significant. Kofi Frimpong had been MP for like three terms, yeah. mm -hmm. very well known, not just on a media level. Mm -hmm. And then a 21 year old lady beats you. Someone like Ochema Buaji is not that big mm -hmm. in a sense that Kofu was the MP when Bantama was split into three. Mm -hmm. You had uh, Kwadasu in Shaisu and Bantama. Mm -hmm. Kofu was the MP. Okay, then you have. Um, Ochema Bwaji coming into Divi Kokofu yeah. based on, he was a new face, it was a surprise. <laughs> Do you understand? So Ochem then comes in, he's spokesperson for, he's spokesperson for uh, finance, mm -hmm. but he's not such a huge thing, if you want to be honest with yourself. No, you mean MPP. nationally or Ashanti region-wise? Because I, dis I completely disagree with what you're saying. Ochema Bwaji is a significant name in Ashanti region MPP as we speak. You see, the dynamics of the MPP in the Ashanti region is not what it used to be. There are lots of new faces. 
in there. It's very rare to see you have somebody who has five or six years worth of reach in the MPP now in the Ashanti region. Won't we control the MPP now? Yes. How old is going to be in the MPP? Would you consider him a significant name? No, but he's one of the most powerful no, he is now. No, I'm just saying because but how how old how for how long has he become significant? 2016. So, man, longevity for no, you is what, what I'm saying is that if you compare Ochema Boaji to Asenso mm -hmm. in MPP, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ochema Boaji is, is not necessarily a bigger name than Asenso. Because Asenso, we know, was a guy who was, was the first chairman of Tesco. Tesco. Mm -hmm. He's the founder, basically. Asenso had wanted to go for uh, uh, Bantama in 2012, but I was impressed upon not to. Ochema Boaji's victory against, uh, what do you call Chema it? Kukufu. Kukufu, Kukufu. was a surprise. So I'm saying that he's not. I'm, that's what I'm saying. If you compare Francisca's defeat of Kofi Frempong to Ochema Bajis' loss to uh, Asenso, it's not such an upset of some huge figure. Mm, mm, he mm. is somebody who's been there. He won. He did his politics well. He won one ten. He's not established and entrenched himself that well. Mm. No, but then, if Katie Amon that lost, but, you can say a big fish has lost. No, right? say, even though Ochema Bajis was a big fish to have lost. Even though he was no, given a critical job, Bernard, of of being the party's spokesperson, okay. government's spokesperson. I'm not trying to run down Ochema Bajis, okay. but before he came to say chop chop on my mm. interview, mm. how many people in your news my head of him? knew about him? No, but before okay. he came but, to but say the gauge of a person's significance is not a news. No, but I'm just saying that most most of Bernard Dalla offensive south that would be significant. That you would agree. <laughs> but, but, I say it's a significant but, personality but, 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 in the but, 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 space. You see, for me, I think we are using parliamentary uh, work to confuse stature generally. And I've always said that there are two things. The person's closeness to executive power and the person's strength on the grassroots. That's how I do the analysis. Okay. okay? So there are some MPs, because of their closeness to the executive, a lot of them manage to go unopposed. Mm -hmm. Etiwa East, Etiwa West, or... Uh, what do you call it? Ofwansi, uh, Irebi, Menshia South, Napo, Bosonche, Deputy Minister of Education. These people have gained a certain stature in government and they've played their politics at the local level well. So they didn't get com contested. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, for some of the MPs who we say have, have big faces who are gone, they've been very visible in parliament and very close to the media. Therefore, we are rating them a certain way. That may not be so in the party itself on the ground. Okay. That's, what, that's the point I'm making. Go for it. Um, so, Ben Abdallah, <laughs> of course, he's been there two times, he's, was hoping to go yeah. for the, and then he's defeated. He's, and he's, somebody, let's, uh, let's be honest about this, Bernard makes a good point there mm -hmm. with Parliament. The Parliament has invested significantly mm -hmm. in his development mm -hmm. because he plays a crucial role in the lawmaking space. Yeah, yeah. And that is what I'm saying. He, in Parliament, of course, he will be a big loss. Maybe for the people of, of Yeso South, because he had fallen out with them, mm -hmm. they might say, well, good riddance. But in Parliament, he will be a significant loss. So the House loses, the you think? The house but loses of course, we don't him. know the person who is replacing, who's replacing? What, what, they are, what, they are, what they are strength no, and Not capacity. even just the person, but generally, they always find people to step into shoes. That is the nature so of So it parliament. goes to the argument whether you should defend mm -hmm. MPs or you should let them go, let them fight for themselves, and if they win or so on, because you can't put their strength in parliament over what the party delegates would want. And I know you and I had had this conversation about what it would mean for the uncontested yes. Yeah, but Nisanda, what I'll say is that strength in government is more significant than strength in parliament. Look at the Ashanti region. Look at the people who went unopposed. Achiman Ponia, Isaac Esiama, who is he? Minister for, the Minister for Sports. Good. We don't know how active he is in Parliament, but in government he's an important figure. Okay. Mm. Minister South, Matthew Poku Prempe, who is he? Education. Education. Great. Bosomchi, Dr. Oseya Educhum, mm -hmm. Visible Deputy Education, Education Minister. Okay. Now compare him to Deputy Minister for Roads, Kwame Ousu Ediomi. He's a Deputy Minister of Roads. He may be good. John Kuma is the Chief Executive of NEIP. Sometimes when you look at who a president appoints into a place, National Youth Authority CEO has won. NEIP CEO has won. A lot of these younger new faces are all appointees mm -hmm. at Frizo's board mm -hmm. has won. That's a clue. So, 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 your, your closeness to center in executive is more important than your significance in parliament which is a different conversation because okay. it means parliament as an institution doesn't have resources to protect its own okay. but if the president and the executive think you are important they will either protect you or give you resources to win that's a lot of the new people who are winning are people who are working in the executive okay. as a chief executive of something yeah. And then the ministers who are very significant don't even have competition. But we have a few losers who are CEOs. So Ghana Publishing, 
David Asante. But he was challenging. Yes. He wasn't. Okay, so he was not. And then and, and there were six people. Mm -hmm. And the Eastern Regional Minister lost. Yes. And then the, and the, again, you have a minute, middle belt deputy CEO oh, is also there. Yeah, yeah. Then you have one MP and then the former minister of the region all day. Okay. So that's a different dynamic. Okay. Let's move to Central Region. The big name we have there is Abraham Odom, MP for Chifo Etia Mokwa. Um, Godfrey, any comments on that, Central Region? Not really. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for the... Uh, Eastern. Let's go to Eastern. Eastern. No, let's go to Alexander. Let's, let's, let's stay with Central. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for Alexander Bass constituency uh, to come in. And then I can make a determination that for Abraham Odu winning, uh, uh, losing at Chifua Timokwa, not really. He's not issue. cabinet minister and he's not, okay. Ben. See, just if, since Morrison and Gona West won very well, mm -hmm. very strong. 584, story. Obodai and Yosin uh, didn't sit up. It's Sigmund Robin Brack, a very interesting character called Ajay Domson. I followed his politics since yeah. university days. He was, ran for SRC president he, against Paul Adomotri. He won on a very interesting message. Later on, he became the DC for Isikuma for the area, the PCRP for Worked for yes, it was was he's paid his dues in the constituency yeah. and has tried for a while. Yes, so this he, he he probably may get into parliament after a long time of trying. Yeah. So that's an interesting name there. George Under winning against Joseph Edu was not a surprise at all. Four thirty six one ninety one, mm -hmm. no issue there. Kennedy Japong unopposed. Uh, John Intim for Joe unopposed, no problem. Um, so central region, he's right. We're waiting for. Alex Abam. Alex Abam. I won't be surprised if he maintains the seat. Yeah. I won't be surprised if he maintains the seat. Eastern region is where some of the interesting things have happened. Yeah. So, Tinyasi. No, I think I wanted to start from Akwetia. Yes. Messi, Edu Jemfi, a.k.a. Amasi. Yes. First time member of parliament. She ousted Baba Jamal. Yes. Uh, in a very, very, a very bitter, bitter competition. Uh, competition. Mm, and that, that sends Baba Jamal packing out of the yes, consensus and, uh, entirely. Yes. She's been kicked out of parliament by Ernest Kumi. It was a very close race. Uh, four votes. 223, 227. Yes. Decided four this um, particular election. But, uh, there was a recount. Uh, just to make sure everything was in order. And it's significant that Amasi uh, has lost, and I hope Bernard will agree with me on this one, <laughs> that she's lost. Because if you look at the dynamics, and it's something we've been discussing fairly recently, if you look at the dynamics in that particular constituency, she seemed to cover the best of both worlds mm -hmm. when it comes to the constituency. Mm -hmm. Her relationship with the informal sector, the market space, and what she had done for them, her husband's role in the um, Zongo part of Akwetia, you put that together, he gave her the best of both worlds to be able to uh, fight Baba Jamal at that point. Um, we don't know too much about Ernest Kumi, but I'm sure but, in the but coming when she days... she to Parliament, mm -hmm. so was she the type of person who was seen visibly working in Parliament or perhaps engaging committee work where she's not visible but they know that she's working or she just won the seat and then she's in parliament and then no no no, no. She, she was one of those persons who actually went back home which is why i'm saying this mm -hmm. only it, it, it tells us perhaps a lot more about ns kumi that he's also very strong on the ground his nickname is akwetia star boy mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you are nicknamed akwetia star boy obviously there's a meaning to a nickname like mm -hmm. that he's mm -hmm. also very solid on the ground and that's what i'm saying that um it, the, the, those on the other side might look at this and lick their lips and say okay i'm gonna say it's no longer there we might stand a chance mm -hmm. but for this person and for the party to sit by looking at the dynamics of what is normally a very significant electoral battle during national elections mm -hmm. and watch for this to happen, then we should not underestimate Ernest Kumi and the support that he has in the constituency. Okay. So for you, it is, it is significant that he comes in and takes over from someone who had got all these worlds supporting or coming yes, from all these sides. In the seat that is Akwetia, it's one of those seats that means a lot to political parties in the Eastern region. It means a lot to the MPP. It means a lot to the NDC. It's always one of those seats that people look out for. How did it mm. go? So it's a seat that you can say is an MPP seat, but the NDC knows it wants to win it and it can win and it. And NDC so has it's won always, it before. Yeah, so it's always a struggle. Just not as regularly as the MPP. Okay. So that's the one that you stand yeah, for. for me in the Eastern region. But that in is, the Eastern uh, region? Eastern region, I just have three things to say. Number one, the large number of un unopposed people it's an interesting development for me. Okre, Ofwasi, Eribi, Anopos, that's Kojo, Ponkroma, and um, Damboche. Damboche. Then you have quite a number. Uh, Atiwa, East Atiwa West, also unopposed. Abisifi, Abrim, unopposed. Asini, Akrosu, Manso, unopposed. Ebuakwa South, unopposed. unopposed. So that's the first story there. And all these people are in government. Yes, they are. So that's first point. Brian Champo, unopposed. Right? Second point, 
the key losers for me in terms of longevity will be Suhum. Suhum, yeah. Fred Okubayan, Okubayan, Okubayan. he's had running battles in the past with Bayern Champion yeah. for Suhum yeah. before this time. To go out so meekly to Kwejo Asante, 394, 272, he didn't even get the honor of being the main headline. Yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, eight years yeah. ago, if he had lost to Brian, so it's such a big story. It's not a big story. His stock has fallen in the MPP. We don't know why. We don't know what's happening there. Mm -hmm. That's the other one. Then, in Coco, I, I, there were two I got wrong that I, I want to put my head on my chest, and I said, I didn't understand the consensus very well, and it's good. In Coco... You thought who would win? It, my calculation was that, for that because four. there were so many people going against that four... He would emerge. And I actually even wrongly thought Joyce, the so was number two. It's clear that Shaba is stronger than we all thought. And Joseph Rimpon, who we know was popular, we thought because he didn't have enough resources, but apparently we are told that he actually did have resources. So Joseph Rimpon, who was supposedly the underdog, mm -hmm. proved that we don't know anything. Why did you underwrite Shaba, though? Because you know his history in that constituency. Because I had thought that because he had run independent and because he's a businessman, he was probably just coming to show his face for purposes of Maba back to MPP, okay. not because he wanted to really go back to Parliament, mm -hmm. because he's done Chamber of Commerce, he's done MP before, he has his own businesses. So I didn't know why Chaba wants to go back to Parliament, whatever he wants. So okay. I was surprised to go to 56. <laughs> then I got this one wrong, which I have to admit. Um, Davis, in Priyaso, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've confirmed that Opoko Ansar has won. Davis, Opoko 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 Opoko. Yes. We have to check. We have to check. Yeah. We have to check. Okay, mm -hmm. then, then I'll, I'll hold on to that, because I had predicted that Kwame Chamba was going to win. Yeah. And then Davis, we are told. Uh, okay, since we are not sure, let's, 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 yeah, let's skip it let's and then. That out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then yes, that's that's it. Apart from we have new job in South Eastern Region, the capital of the region. Yes, that's expected. You really? Know, that the Sibia boy would lose? Well, I thought it was close because you see, a month ago it was clear that Bethy was leading, but in the past few weeks, the Sibia boy had started showing, to the extent that when I spoke to our correspondent last week, he said he wasn't sure what was going to happen. So, I... And if you look at the, 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 the votes, uh, Sibir Bwapo 200, mm -hmm. and uh, Ochebefi 372. Yeah, it was sounding. So, that's yeah, over 100. That's a yeah, resounding so, 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 I can say, I said it was too close to call. That was wrong. It wasn't yeah. too close to call. Yeah. Bwapo was winning. But when, 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 we, when we spoke to when I've not spoke to him, uh, the losing person yes. now, you heard him. Um, it's almost like, well... I have I fought a good fight. I have lost, and yeah. the, the 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 shoe boy or the boy, he said the darling boy of Kofredua mm -hmm. is a new person. Now, are we judging him based on his work in parliament or his work in the undergrounds? Yesterday on Point Blanc, when I spoke to Beffy, Beffy said to me, "Look, it is all right for you to be hard working in parliament oh, and all of yes. that, yes. but Which if you're an absent, if you're an absentee MP, it's a problem." And he said the MP was an absentee MP; yes, it was and, not accessible. And it was one of the uh, points that he kept harping on every time mm -hmm. he was uh, he had a platform to speak. He spoke about the fact that uh, there were times I listened to him on other radio stations where he even intimated that he was doing more of the MP's work mm -hmm. than the MP himself. But mm -hmm. is the MP's work to be doing on on development the, no, on the ground in terms of he was like, "Look, I'm the one who goes around with." the constituency chairman, we need to go and rent a building, I'm the one who is doing this, I'm the one who is going there. These are not things I'm supposed to be doing, but I do them because I love the party. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, well, the MP has a job, so do I. I run free zones, mm -hmm. but I somehow seem to find time and come around. to show up. He doesn't seem to find time to show up. So I'm the better option. And it looks like a message that went uh, on very, very well. And like also, but that makes it very interesting. When it comes to Shibefi, it had been said wide and loud. And it was almost as blatant as it could get in that mm. area that this was the person the president wanted. If you do not get this boy, it means you are basically telling the president, yes. we disagree with you. So it was a fight. You're either fighting the president or you're going with the president. Well, the, uh, as he was fighting on two fronts. He was fighting a very strong homeboy okay. who is very much in tune with what is on the ground. Let's mm -hmm. not take that away from mm -hmm. Oshibefi. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not just the, a matter of the presidency mm -hmm. speaking up for him. Mm -hmm. Oshibefi on the ground had done a lot. He's somebody who lives there, has businesses there, has employed mm -hmm. a lot of people there, and has been very interested in the party mm -hmm. in that particular constituency. And then, of course, he had the favor of the president. And they made it very clear that he had the favor of the president. Okay. Now, would you say then that the incumbent MP lost perhaps because he's not a minister of state, so he doesn't have extra salary coming his way? You know, he's Sandra, you see, my point is not about, you see, the point I'm making about who is winning this primaries are, it's your closeness to the presidency 
it's not about there should be an endorsement of a sort for you, you from see, the president when a president when somebody becomes president they appoint people as ministers that's the first level mm -hmm. then they appoint people as chief executives of important state institutions mm -hmm. so those appointments give you a clue as to who the president likes prefers and most of the new people who are winning are chief executives of or officials within uh, uh, the, for example educational ministry yeah. uh, team, mm -hmm. head of NACA. NACA even with the free zones the boss and the deputy are all going to parliament do you get my point Tolong. so the yeah. and as I'm saying, the first level are the close ministers are either protected i.e. they don't have a contest at all 12 eastern region MPs didn't have contest and of those 12 about 10 of them are deputy ministers or ministers right mm -hmm. then the level next level of all these new people who are winning are all Akufado appointees so he's stretch is he's entrenching himself as president okay. in the party that's the clarity of what you can see in eastern in particular in ashanti 12 people not contested 12, before we move to other regions them, yes. Godfrey, the people who are not contested mm -hmm. it may be good for them but is it good for the party well looking at what has happened you know th there seems to be a thirst for competition in the party but then again if you look at the names in there um Abitifi, Brenda Champo, mm -hmm. unopposed. That is somebody who has significant clout. Mm -hmm. If you, Abuakwa South, Samola Tachia, again, another name that I don't need to explain. If you look Ibrim. at, yeah, you look at Ebrim as well, uh, Osei Frimpong John. Can I just say, Akim Suedro. Akim Suedro. Deputy Minister of Agrik. Agrik. You look Dukia. at the Siama. Ajayin Anadukia, Deputy Minister of Information, comes from the uh, representing the president's hometown. George Abuaji. Okay, so these Abuna are Osea, Abuna, 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 Deputy, Deputy Finance, Finance Minister. Minister. You don't want Minister to talk Minister for roads. You know, these are persons who are very much concerned with the president's agenda. Yeah, if you allow them to be contested, it might even look like you are running a referendum on the president and what he has been doing true. Okay. Okay. so, so it, protect it them to your, the best you can yes but I, I, there's one risk i one contest i want to talk about and that was the so Kati. before you talk about that contest there was a contention over whether or not you've got the result from price so the result is in okay give it to us so opk has won and it's no mean win uh, so Seth Kwame Champo pulled 104. And this in price, so 104 for Seth Kwame Champo. David Ansa Opoko or David Opoko Ansa 402. You know the funny thing? When I made a prediction, Davis was watching the show. So he recorded himself, me, me, me making a prediction. He, he said, he said, to you. He said, he said, Benna, you are so wrong. Wow. <laughs> and he says, he says, Wallah, it will never happen. <laughs> then he sent me the video of myself making that wrong prediction. Okay. You know? And then so, he laughed and said, you are wrong. Cry. Wow. So and it he, looks he's like right. uh, his tafag work. Yeah, other yeah, things so wrong uh, have paid off the back come no even thing has is gone yeah uh, kade fimi uh MP. he has four contestants yes he was contested by in three men's and he's a he's a Kofi new guy Tukwini. isn't he in Paris? yes uh, and alexander uh kweju uh Ejari as well so do we know what happened to lower west akim if the clan versus in cancer somewhere we need to find out okay there okay. actually were four contestants, uh, contestants against yes, the team budget uh charles a champion kweju or dummy entry Okay. And Davis is Davis. So two things. Davis is uh, alliance for African Tower governance. But then there was let my vote count. Let my vote count is David Asante. He lost mostly. Yeah. Yes. So but Davis. Lost. Davis. And they've both Davis been involved won. in that. Look. Uh, so there is a young patriot for John Kuma. Yes. <laughs> That's another MPP <laughs> offshoot. So all these guys were and these were people who were fighting 2008, 2012, 2012, 2016. So you can say that, well, the party has rewarded them in yeah. one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Western Region. Mm -hmm. Kwesi Mintim, Joe Mensah has lost. Alex Ejekum has lost from Poho. Atopanford has lost for Shama or in Shama. Joe Mensah is a M former MP. He's an MP. Yeah, he's an MP. Yeah, and he's lost to uh, yes, Prince of Naka. Of Naka. What, which other one did you mention? Alex Ejekum in Poho. Alex Ejekum in Poho. And who's the winner? Do we have, we have, do you have that? Eh? We'll check. I'm, I'm, I'm trying okay. to pull it out. And that was the third Arthur one. Pamford for Shama. Arthur Pamford is a minister, I think. Or he's quite yes. a popular, it's quite a known name. Yeah. So that, that is significant. I don't have enough material on Western, Western region, region to give you okay. a, a strong comment there. Okay, we've done greater Accra. We'll come back. But let's go to Northern region. Mm -hmm. Tolong is a deputy uh, Freedom's Board mm -hmm. boss. Alhaji Wahab Wumbe. 
Mm -hmm. He's a winner. Three thirty eight. Yes. No, he lost. The, he lost. He, he lost, lost to the new the, to the deputy. Forgive me, deputy yes. free zones board boss. Now, Habib Idris. So both free zones and deputy are going to parliament, going. or at least on the now Charles Bin team Saboba. He lost to he's Abraham. Lost. And this will not be the first time he's losing. Former minister Charles Bin Tim. Yes, he's Saboba. been a minister in Kufo's administration. Yeah, um, uh, you are still in the north, right? It is the north. What I was looking out for this race. Northeast, not the north. Yendi. Wale Wale. Okay, Wale Wale. Deputy Minister for Agric in charge of crops, uh, Sagri Bambangi. Sagri Bambangi. He had, you, you mentioned that he had five opponents. Yeah. He didn't do well at all. He lost to Lariba Abudu, who had 275. Susanna Alotia had 161. And the Deputy Minister, Sagri Bambangi, had only 96. <laughs> Charlie, he was just a shalaki. <laughs> I mean, he was just blown out of the water. And then, of course, Hadja has retained Nalerigu Gambanga, mm -hmm. 484, Minister for Local Government. Interesting, both she and her deputy had contests, and they both won. The regional Obi minister, also too, won. Solomon Boa. Yes. Bunkurugu also won. Yes. Um, that's not East. Yendi. Yendi. Oh, uh, Lord. Ali Muhammad San. Yeah, that was a, a close race. So, the, if you look at the numbers, uh, Umar Farouk Ali Muhammad, 230, Abibata Shani Mahama Zakaria. 210 Baba Osman Daniel was this was the Too battle close. of MPP royalty in Too. the area Too close uh, Abibata uh, Shani Mahama Zakaria is a deputy um, uh, Maslok, Maslok, Maslok boss her mother is a diplomat in the government her father has been an MP, MP. in his the area the first MP. MP of the area they had Farouk Aliou she Mahama. was very confident yes. too very and, and Baba Osman was the homeboy Bo home before boy. both of them came. came. Yeah. So he's the guy who was looking up to until the two of them came. Yeah. came. It, was a, it was a very <laughs> solid but Ali, Ali Muhammad, I mean, uh, Farouk. Farouk did a lot of work on the ground, didn't he? He has always been waiting for this. He's been lacing his boots for long. So Yes. Uh, uh, and and, and uh, the, both of them engaged in a lot of uh, infrastructure uh, development over the past two months or so. Um, but it looks like in the end, uh, Farouk won on this one they said, they said farouk did a presidential campaign <laughs> a national level campaign <laughs> in a primary <laughs> ato pamford is board chair of nbssi oh. you, were looking, you were looking for his designation there yes. ato pamford um and then alfred obin Boatin, former ceo of bost mm -hmm. wins bbni race and defeats uh the so incumbent. He defeats yeah. the incumbent. That's one of those mm. races. He defeats the incumbent. Effort. So he's, he clearly still has support in the party, even though he had to leave Bost. Yep. Now, so yeah, he beat Kinsley Abuaji Jedu. Yeah. Kinsley Abuaji Jedu. So he won in Bibiani Ahunyasi Bekwai. Okay. Yes. Now let's let's move on. Um, Have we done um, Upper East region? Navrongo? Up, up, okay. So Navrongo, Navrongo. Um, Joseph Kofia, the former Minister Energy, now Minister Aviation, former Sanitation Minister. Mm -hmm. And I saw a headline that said Minister who flew helicopter to file nominations <laughs> loses. Now again, Bernard, you talked about people who are close to the presidency. So consider this scenario: the regional minister was recently appointed and to go and be the regional minister for Upper East. She goes to contest, uh, contest another minister of state and defeats him. Who happens him. to be the incumbent. Yeah, who happens to be the incumbent. A seat that they retained uh, or they, 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 they won recently, uh, they are having to battle it out over there. Well, it's clear that? from the result that it's not about who is closer to who. Sometimes you just have to allow the race to happen because 266, 307 is very close. Mm -hmm. And we said we couldn't even predict this one. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing about Madame Tangoba is that she was a former ambassador to Italy before she became the regional minister. And um, she speaks very well. She's well spoken. Mm -hmm. Very vociferous. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think the people of Navrongo are lucky to have two good yeah. candidates. And yeah. one, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other anyway. Yeah. Kofiada has been there for four terms. I think he's done his bit. And let's, let's let's see what the minister. No, but what, what she I, I, I think Bernard what wanted for her was she had been portrayed like Sandra said she had been portrayed as somebody who had been away for a while mm -hmm. and had come back because of her work as a diplomat. Mm -hmm. But kudos to her, she was able to sell the story that she was even there before Mr. Kofi yes. that came and replaced Atuliwa. Yes. yes. And even I, I listened to her on one program where she said that at Mr. Atuli was funeral, she was the MC. And that's when they first and saw that's when they first saw Kufi. So she could, they didn't come and so tell, the, nobody come and tell her that she's a stranger <laughs> that was in so funny. the constituency. And also, um, this is a place where Kufiada touted his credentials 
professionally. Mm -hmm. This is also a very accomplished woman. Yes. So, so is we are, we are comparing like for like, yes, like for like, you mm -hmm. know. So, uh, in the end, uh, she won out and right. The other so. quick insight there is that Kofiada had lost the executives, so he was dealing directly with the delegates. Delegates. He, yeah. he was tagged as a guy who was out of touch. Yes. He's gone to Accra. He's become minister. He forgets the constituency. In this constituency, he struggles so hard to to win. You win back after twenty twelve. Yeah, yeah, but you see, the thing about this is that once you lose the, the executives. You need yeah. to be very strong yeah. on the ground. Otherwise, the executives will definitely make sure you don't win. Okay. Piece of information. So, at Two Pound Ford, uh, the person he's replacing is a regional minister for North East. Wow. Mm. Kingsley Abwaji. No, no Western he? North. Western West, 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 yes, North. Abwaji, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's a Western North regional minister. It's very interesting. Yeah. So, that, that's very interesting. One. Let's. Is anything else in Upper East of interest? Well, I, 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 can, no. I think I can run through the Western region primaries yes. for you again. Okay. Okay. Yes, please, please confirm please results. Please do. So, in Takra, the Honorable Kobi Oche Dakum Mensa uh, has, been, has won the ticket. He defeated Janet Ednanyame 343 to 197. Uh, we just discussed Shama. If you go to Ahanta West, Honorable Ebenezer Kojokun has been uh, elected uh, to represent the MPP 472 to 249. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kwesibani is a known name yes. in the region. If you go to Efia, Constitu uh, Efia constituency, Honorable Joseph Kujo has beaten Dr. Ajwa Kujiba. Joseph Kujo, Deputy Minister Deputy for Energy. Energy. 312 yes. to 105. Quiet, but. Yes. Yeah. Then we're speaking about in Poho. If you go to Amenfi East, mm -hmm. Edward Amu Akwa has defeated the incumbent Patrick Kwame Same. Mm -hmm. uh, 562 to 234. Mm. That is a significant. Although we need to say quickly okay. about the um, upper in Navrongo that um, I'm not saying that. Uh, Joseph Ada wasn't close to the president, but the impression we got was that the, the minister was preferred. <laughs> the regional minister was preferred. Yeah. So they were both in government. Yes. But one and and again. No, but see, it should tell you something, Sandra, mm -hmm. that somebody is recalled as a diplomat to, Made come a regional and minister. Become, to minister. become a regional minister. A regional yeah. minister is a very important position politically for this type of thing. Which is why the Eastern Regional uh, Minister's loss in Koko is quite it's baffling. shocking. Yeah. But if, again, if you speak to people, there are local issues there. There are local issues there. So, yeah, Sandra. Let's, let's move to Upper West. We Upper have West, um, yes. okay, Patrick me. Adama for Sisala West losing, and uh, Godfred Bayon for Wa East also losing. Uh, my only comment about Upper West was that initially, a lot of the two things, the, the Upper West MPs did better than Akufuado in 2016 yes, yes yes which means that the dynamics for their winning had to also do with some of the issues in the ndc yeah okay that's point number one and a lot of the incumbents have lost suggesting that the people on the ground are not happy with their relationship in terms of whether you are sorting us out you are there for us or not so those are that, that's the conclusion i can draw because i think we have lost about three of okay. the incumbents to new people okay Bernard, please hold your thoughts. Let me go on the phone line. Um, one that uh, everybody was looking out for is the Adansia Square constituency. Mm. Kobna Tahir Hamon has been MP for 20 years. Uh, there was a gentleman who emerged and was campaigning that he's been there for too long, he should go away. Well, Katie Hamon has won. What's the vote again? Do we have, who oh, has yes, the figures Katie, immediately? Katie, uh, 276 versus 176. One hundred and seven. Say, say that again. I'm, I'm trying to. Okay, let me go to him. Honorable uh, Katie Hammond, you're welcome to City TV's coverage uh, on the election center. Congratulations. Mario, I've had a lot of noise here. I'm not sure I'm able to pick up your voice properly. Um, I'm asking them to keep the noise down. All right. Okay, two two hundred thirty-eight votes, uh, Honorable Katie Hammond, um, and I hope the sound will go down now. Two hundred thirty-eight. Uh, against 100. You've proven that you're a master politician, but what else did you do right? What did I do right, you said? Yes. No, no, no. I mean, I, I was always not doing much wrong. It's just the hype and the wrong um, information that was put out there. I mean, Maro, you and I have come from a very far distance to where we are now. You know, so uh, 
And I told you, in the propaganda in Accra, it's not the reality on the ground in Adansi, you know, it wasn't that bad. Mm. I always knew, you know, I'd always said that. It wasn't a question of if you want to the contest or whatever. I'd always said that MPC is a party of rule of law. So we've got to operate within the square parameters of that rule of law. It's when uh, we decide to play on the periphery of it, that some of us, I mean, uh, get very worried. Uh, we, 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 we tend to be playing the rule the way the NDC uh, play it. And we are not. And that is why I kept on emphasizing that um, the, 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 the rule to be applied. It was never the case that Kiamon was afraid of contest. No. It's just that I wanted the rule of law. I mean, uh, the, the fair play. Um, 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 to have a fair play. That is it. So um, I, I wasn't doing much wrong at all. It's, it's a manifestation, it's a reflection um, uh, in, 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 in what the constituency has come to stand for. Uh, it, 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 the symbolism in the constituency. I mean, if you come here and ask all the project, look, when we send you to what they call the legislative assembly, they want their voice, um, uh, the voice of the constituency to be heard. I don't know, I've done pretty well. I mean, um, uh, putting uh, the Adanjia uh, Sofa name uh, on, the, on, the, on the platform, international, local, national platform. I've done, I've done, I've done my best. Uh, quite apart from that, they're also looking for development projects. Uh, now, come to Adanjia uh, Sofa and then look for yourself. Just point to every single item of infrastructure and ask. You don't need to ask, you will see KTM on signature. It's okay. all one place. You know, KTM on KTM on. This gentleman, this, this gentleman who contested you, relatively unknown or even unknown at all, yet he he garnered 180 of the votes. That's significant. Well, you know, I've been here for about 20 years, haven't I? Yeah. I mean, 20 years now. I mean, you know what we we normally say is that uh, MPP delegates they are like Abutia. You know, so you have to be Abutia Kongfu like me, you know, <laughs> to manage the Abutia. <laughs> You know, so, um, yes, uh, no, but, you know, it is, it's, that, that is the issue. The body of God is not a reflection of the constitution, it's a delegate. You know, we have five, four hundred or whatever, you know, quite a few of them, they vote, I'm, I'm told. Um, by the few votes I expected that would come my way. They didn't vote at all. It's not that it went to him or whatever, they didn't uh -huh. vote. Uh -huh. But it's, so, it's not a reflection. There are a few uh, people who, in the end, decide the fate of uh, uh, the MP before you go to the election. Come and see the jubilation in the constituency. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. classic case of a particular place uh, where the delegates uh, didn't quite appreciate what I've done for them. But the, the council knew that every single project in that town was uh, uh, put in place by Katie Abbott. Okay. The chill, the people, go and see the jubilation. Yet we had only about three, four, or five votes from there. But the council. We are very, very excited. I think did, did, did you did, do? You there. think? Do you think someone wanted you out? Of course you did. Ah, you know that. They didn't make it a secret, man. I don't like hypocrisy. I've never known you to be a hypocrite. Don't no, ask me questions like that. When you say it's all about the place, you know those who wanted me out. You didn't hide it. They didn't hide it. They went out and told the whole world they wanted me out. But I can say, as far as you said that. Our KT Ramon is not going to be removed our propaganda. Nobody, nobody in Ghana is going to remove our, our KT Ramon. In the fullness of time, if he decides not to go again, of course that is a time that he chooses to leave the place. It's Almighty Allah who is in charge of this place for any individual. Don't ask me that question. Or I would brand you a hypocrite. Don't you need to go to the city west to get to see the back of you, 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 you make my viewers think I'm part of your campaign, which I am not. But how high well, are no, they? But you know, it is the one in law because judicial notice. Everybody in Ghana is taking judicial notice of the fact that some individuals wanted me out. You don't know that? We wish you all the best and congratulations, Honorable Kitty Amond. You take good care of yourself. I'll see you in Accra. Sure. Save Jenny to Accra. That's uh, the Adansi Asuka member oh, of Palmy Kitty Amond. He feels that he was cornered. He wanted he was to be removed and uh, he, he thinks he's... he's I, I, I saw a video of uh, his celebratory march through the streets of Adansi Asuka. You mean a taunting march? Yeah, he was just marching through the town, you know. 20 years and more coming. <laughs> let's go to let's quickly clear we have to sign out yes, soon uh, but the, or yeah. BA? okay the ba region there are three regions now mm -hmm. so i think bono itself i think winchi was yeah, the one, one one that was interesting jambafo 172 
Um, I'm your Albert 167, Kojo 148. Is it well? Tina Fajan 61, Yao Poku 19. So, Minister of State retains. If you want to remove somebody like John Bafo, you don't need five people. Yeah. So, you see how Bimfu got 180, yeah. KT 238, yeah. you get yeah. a chance. But and if you have uh, five of you, if you put their votes together, it's much more than Jamba votes. True. And but he has declared today that uh, it's the last time he's okay. running. Okay, it's not going anymore. Yeah, he he, he, I think he should not hasten in saying it that though, because don't in forget, the past, when, 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 when she is Buzia's hometown, mm -hmm. it's a very important constituency in BA for the MPP. Um, again, unopposed Sunyai West, Bafuewa. Um, I don't have the result for Sunyai East. Because there's Ami Alcheme and then Tia Yebua. He's won. I mean, Alcheme, Alcheme has won. Okay. Siame Alcheme has won. The okay. Place. What about uh, Burkum East? Because Kwabna Chimnyama, the health committee, went against three people Nelson Cheme, Paulo Furia, Manfu, Solomon Cherubu. Maybe your team can send that to us. Uh, we are waiting for that. The, the, our, one of the concerns are looking for Burkum East. Mm -hmm. Well, it, let me just give you Sunyai East. Okay. Uh, Cheme. Pulled 605. Okay. Alfred Chuyaboa was second. He pulled 246. So Chairman has maintained. Yes, Chairman has maintained okay. that. How, did we do all the Ashanti? Because in Old Tafo, Vincent Sifwa, was an interesting race, 299. Yeah, so, Old Tafo constituency, huh? What's Lewis the Carroll Sewa, uh, 133. She came in second. Vincent Sifwa, 299. So Lewis Vincent Sifwa is a peer of the Ministry of Education. Education. Lewis Carroll works in the SDG office. Of the office of the president, one thirty-three. The presidential staffer. Prince Odinho upon ninety. Achebod in three aqua zero. Emmanuel Obing forty-four. Lord Inu Salans at twenty-seven. Key point here is that this is uh, constituency held by. Uh, Akuto 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 so all these are newbies. And he is not contesting. Yes. He decided not. Another one that caught my attention was the loss of um, uh, Kumewu. Hmm. Okay, I won't say loss. I mean, it wasn't surprising to lose on the ground. Baswa is strong. One eighty-four. Uh, it was just surprising that Ahunkani say got 52, that Edward Kofi say got 73, Philip Yabano got 60. So Bahamese was even second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Deputy Minister of Trade. Uh, I think his mission is smoothless level for now. Okay. So you have to keep uh, keep trying and, another uh, time. There's a situation with Asante came North. Yep. That we <laughs> they are conflicting yep. results. Yes. Uh, that's what, that, that we, we we don't have confirmation of a result mm -hmm. yet because in the build up to the election and uh, the challenger to and their peer could be another peer could be. Uh, the and the Baji man had uh, filed an injunction yes. based on the um, uh, for the delegates uh, album. The album, and the the party, according to him, had said there wasn't going to be an election. But today, reports that came through indicated that they, there was indeed an election. We still haven't gotten hold of the results, but the, an election did take place. Yeah. There. So that one is going to be one of the contentious ones we'll be looking so out that, for. So that 500 versus one result is not correct. It's not official. Then the Asante came south. Initially, we had said Obo had won, but yeah, the no, no, new no, information no, no, we are no, getting no. is that Kuku Asante won. Because Asante won that conversation. But it was pretty close. Yeah. Greater Accra, la da de And then just a quick one. Okay. Just a quick one. You know, I was talking about president's appointees. So New Youth Authority has won. Uh, uh, Free Zones Board has won. Accra Digital Center's Kofi Fusun Kansa has lost. Did not win. Ghana Publishing has lost. Yes. Okay. He, he lost. Or did not win. Kwame Yanyi may do entry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking yeah. about that one, Bernard, so I have a former presidential staffer who has sent a message through. Stan Dobe was with John Mahama. What did he say? Um, he said the outcome of today's primaries is a sad reflection of dirty vote buying and not necessarily hard work. He's referring to the CEOs. He says all the CEOs and others you mentioned engage in naked, quote and unquote, bribery or what we rather call inducement. I am sure your reporters have evidence of the material items, the money, mm. in some cases in dollars, that the winners used. The highest bidders clearly won. He says, as a follow-up to this primary, is also a strong confirmation of the corruption, and it goes on and on. Well, the money in in elections. It's, it's sad. We but will not it's, pretend it's about true. the votes. By it, I think, look, for some of the people who lost, some of them, the information is that Omu massacre. They don't give. Oh, they don't give. <laughs> they don't, that's the point. They don't <laughs> give. So, and especially in some constituencies, people just tell you that Charlie, if you don't. Um, um, Masika, you, you, like, you don't care about us. And it's, it's, it's a sad, I don't know whether expanding electoral college will change it, but it's, 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 it's but right in the sense that if you don't have money, you will struggle to win. 1,000 plus electoral college is huge. If you can bribe your way through that, yeah, I mean, then, if then all, I'm okay, not sure. Assuming all card carrying members of NDC, MPP, and other parties could vote, imagine Ashanti, imagine a place like Ejiso, so you if all card carrying members could vote. Yes, the executives will still play a role, but if you have 500 people, it's still possible to influence them mm -hmm. but if you have say twelve thousand people 
who hold your party card. So I feel I, my appeal to the party is that expand your party card system. Get people. NDC tried that. They, yeah. they quickly reversed. It. No, it was because the, the delegates rebelled, mm -hmm. and the delegates said, "Now that you won't give us, then who will campaign?" But you see, the parties, if they, if they, re because for example, right now. If the parties wanted to know how strong they were on the ground, mm -hmm. these 500 people cannot tell you that you are. Imagine Yendi. Imagine if somebody goes independent. How do they know how strong they are in Yendi? Imagine yeah. if the person who came second came. Goes. But if all card carrying members of the party went to vote, whoever wants has a proper mandate. So for me, the, the, what the parties need to think about is the future of our democracy and not just the issue of. Well, but can the party control that? That's difficult because it's money, Bernard. And if if the money works for us, and like you said, the NDC when they tried it were threatened by the delegates, and they have to quickly call back. As a party, you cannot go against your delegates. Yeah, it's but I'm saying that if you have twelve thousand card carry members in Yendi, and you have five hundred delegates in the national election, they all have one vote. So it's better to listen to the people who are your supporters than your executives alone. Because the people who have executive position or these so-called delegates are, are preventing us from going forward. Okay. And anyone? So, okay, go I, ahead. I think we, uh, we, we, we skipped Tema Central. We, we mentioned Brackle. Tema Central. So Kofi Brackle has lost. Yes, to Charles Forsen. Uh, so, Charles, it, it, no, it's called Yves, Yves Hansenotti. Okay. Yes, Yves Hansenotti. Hansen what happened to Ladade Kotobo? He lost. He lost. By, by, he, he <laughs> was, the, was it was a sign on the look, wall? The, the yes. president has essentially given a vote of no confidence in, in you, you by making Okoboy from an adjacent constituency, yes. a deputy minister of health, to replace moves, the government. Uh, uh, moves uh, Urban, Urban to communication, communication and, drops and drops you. Drops you. And, That's the message. That and it was the tersest message I've ever seen issued by a presidential director of communication on the removal of a deputy minister. Telling you. It was almost very <laughs> harsh. And I almost sounded like, we have to go. Any, do you foresee any independent candidates emerging from no. today's, anybody who is bitter? Let's wait it out. It's, mm. too, it's too early mm. to let's say. Mm. It out. It's too early to say. Okay. Well, let me just say that if you are um, wondering who else may have lost where or won where, the City Newsroom is a website you should go to. Some quick headlines that we have there. Mm -hmm. NPP decides Katie Hammond wins at Dancia Sukwa primary despite stiff competition. NPP decides three incumbent MPs defeated in Upper West Region. Lecture ruins Soa Odote's second term bid in La Dadeko Topon. Ali Muhammad Sang gets not to represent Yendi. And the list is on. Indeed, you can go there and you'll find all those stories and Fantastic. more. But for now, we have to wrap up. Uh, this has been the Election Center on City TV and City FM, bringing you all the coverage of NPP Decides as a party elects persons to represent it on the ballot in 2020 December polls. My name is Umar Sanda Amadou. My guest, Godfrey Akoto Buafo and Bernard Kokwavle. Stay with 97.3 City FM and City TV for relevance always. <laughs>